Welcome to this platform. So in this video, we are going to look at um, endocrine system. So that is a topic that we are going to answer the question on as we continue with the, uh, the revision program. So now before we start, let me just run you through uh, the programs that we offer. So we offer intensive online lessons uh, in the following subjects. That is mathematics, physics, chemistry, biology. If you are interested to join us, you can contact the number uh, plus two six zero nine seven six a four zero two five six three or you can send an email at roid uh, at gmail dot com okay so the lessons that we offer we also uh, offer attuitions to the following that is IGCSE uh, Cambridge uh, A level which is advanced level and also first year those who are doing uh, uh, first year in universities under the School of Natural Sciences. So we also uh, offer uh, tuitions. So the courses are variable. We have mathematics, physics, chemistry, and biology. Okay, so these are the programs that we offer. Okay, so let us get into the question and look at the question. So the question that we are answering today is this one. Like I said, it's on endocrine system. So before we start, it's very important that uh, we define what an endocrine system is. Okay, what is an endocrine system? So an endocrine system is just a system of coordination that is made up of ductless gland and produces hormone. A system of coordination that is made up of who? Ductless. Ductless what? Gland. And produces what? Hormones. So there's another term here that we've, uh, that we might be coming across for a first time, and that is hormones. And it's very important also that we define what a hormone is. Okay? So a hormone, uh, by definition, we can say is a, a, is a chemical secreted by ductless gland. So is a chemical uh, secreted by ductless gland. So is the chemical secreted by ductless uh, gland transported by blood. So hormones that are produced are transported by what? By blood and has effect. So here you can write transported by blood and has effects on the, um, has effects on, let me not say on the, so has effect on one, or more target let me put it like this target organs okay target organs and it is destroyed by the liver and is destroyed by the liver so that is how you simply define a hormone so a hormone is as a chemical that is secreted by ductus gland transported by blood uh, transported by blood and has effect on one or more target organs and destroyed by the liver. So now there's another term that we've come across here or that we might uh, be interested to know. That is a target organ. What is a target organ? So for a target organ is any organ that carries out an appropriate response to stimuli under the influence of the hormone. In short, it has receptors for these hormones. Okay. So let's say this is the target organ. This organ should have the receptors. So I'm just putting these as receptors. So when the hormone comes, since it's a chemical, should be able to, you know, because of these receptors, this organ should be able to um, carry out the response. In this case, it means that organs that do not have um, receptors for a certain hormone, they cannot be influenced or they, uh, the hormone does not have an effect on such an organ. So it has to do with the one that has the receptor organ. So that is very important. Okay. So now that is uh, something that we can look at. Perhaps we can look at also the um, a gland that we are going to come across. So what are some of the gland? So some of the gland that you are going to come across are pituitary. Okay. Pituitary uh, a gland. Something like this. P uh, pituitary gland then what is the other one thyroid gland thyroid gland 
Then also we are going to come across the uh, pancreas as a gland, also adrenal, adrenal gland, then also the ovary, the ovary, and of course testis. These last ones should be very easy to understand, I mean to, to relate, ovaries and testis. Adrenal gland, where is it found? So adrenal gland is found on top of uh, the kidney. So let me just, uh, maybe I can try and put up a, just a simple diagram that can help us maybe to understand this. So if you have this as the human, this is the head, and of course, let me put this as the neck, then of course, something like this, just draw a rough one, okay? Say this is the human, okay? So if this is the human, so in this one, I'm going to put both for the gland, even the one that I found in a female. So this is the brain inside, okay? Then at the end of the brain, that is where you find, just at the end part, that is where you find the pituitary. That is where you find the pituitary, okay? Then of course, what about uh, the thyroid gland? You find them right in the neck here, okay? 11 like, so this is where you find thyroid gland. So in the case, maybe you are given a diagram, that is where you find the thyroid gland. Then of course the pancreas, you know that is attached to, um, it's near the stomach there. So the pancreas, you are going to find it here. So that is the what? The pancreas. Then let's say these are kidneys. Then on top of the kidney there, you find the what? The uh, adrenal gland. Adrenal gland. Okay. Then uh, down there, you find, uh, I'll put this one for female. So that is where you find the ovary. You know that ovary produces what? ovum or eggs. Then now, down there, I'll put testis for male. Okay, so that is the testis. So these are some of the glands that you're going to uh, come across. Now, about the pituitary gland, the pituitary gland is called the master gland. So the other name that you can, uh, the other name for, or the pituitary gland is also called the master gland. Now you know that the master is the boss of everyone. So which means, uh, the, the, the pituitary gland, the pituitary gland controls or the working of these other glands is controlled by what? The pituitary gland, which is the master gland. So it secretes the hormone that stimulates other gland to function. That is the reason why it is called the master gland. So it stimulates, it produces or secretes the hormone that stimulates the functioning of other gland. For example, uh, the thyroid stimulating hormone that is produced by the pituitary gland stimulate the thyroid gland to function. Adrenocortical atropic hormone stimulates the adrenal cortex to secrete hormone. Interstitial cell stimulating hormone stimulate the testes to function. Follicle stimulating hormone stimulate the functioning of the uh, follicles, I mean the formation of follicles in the ovary. Routinizing hormone uh, cause ovulation and formation of corpus luteum. So these are some of the um, hormones that they stimulate, okay? But we also have other hormones that are produced by the pituitary gland, such as antidiuretic hormone and also growth hormone, okay? Exo uh, uh, that is oxytocin and also prolactin, okay? So you need to go in detail and look at uh, the functioning of these uh a gland that we have here, okay? So that's very important. Then also, um, I think that is basically that we can look at, but please, what I can say is that I'll have a lesson where I'll cover the topic in detail, but for the meantime, let us focus on answering the questions, but these, you need to know them and where they are found, okay, for the meantime. So now, let us look at the question that we are given. So figure 2.1 and figure 2.2 show two endocrine gland labeled P and Q. So this is labeled P and this one is Q. Identify the endocrine uh, gland P and Q. So this one, as you can see, this one, a leaf-like, 
is a called a pancreas. So Q is called what? Pancreas. Okay. Then um, the other one, which is the uh, P, P is called what? The is it P? No, Q. Okay, Q pancreas. Then P is on top of the kidney there. So this is the adrenal, adrenal what? Adrenal gland. Then state one hormone produced by each gland. So what are the hormones that are produced by this? And what are the hormones produced by this? Okay. State one hormone produced by what? Each gland. So hormone produced by P, which is the adrenal gland, produces adrenaline. Adrenaline. Now, adrenaline, where we are going, you should know that this one is called also as, uh, that is flight, it's called as flight or fight hormone, as we are going to see. Okay, so now, what about Q? So Q, since we say it's a pancreas, now, you know the pancreas, uh, okay, it's a pancreas and the hormone that produces, you can talk of, um, that is, we can talk of glucagon, glucagon, and also insulin. So it's very important you also look at it. What are the function of each? Then now explain how the hormone produced by gland P. What is the hormone produced by gland P? Gland P, we said adrenaline. State, stated in, uh, that is A2 above, plays a role in coordination. Now, another term that you need to know, what is coordination? So, coordination is as a process by which different organs and systems of the body work together efficiently. So, the body organs work together. Now, how do they work together? So, the coordination can be through muscles and also uh, uh, hormones. So, now, the question is, what is the function, what is the role of um, the adrenaline in coordinating the body system or organs so in this one the um the adrenaline the adrenaline since we said is a fight and flight hormone and therefore here what we can say is that this this hormone by the way this hormone is normally produced when you are scared angry emotionally excited or under stress and since it's a fight and uh flight hormone you know that to fight or fight to fight of flight to run away you need energy and therefore the role of it in coordination it prepares the body for action in the following ways so you can put any of the following ways so it prepares the body in the following ways okay so it boosts the changing of glycogen to uh, glucose thereby increasing a uh, glucose level in the blood needed for respiration you know that the respiration when take place energy is produced and that energy is used for uh, flight or fight it increases the breathing rate so that more oxygen is taken in and used for production of energy. That is respiration. You know, respiration requires energy. That is um, tissue respiration. Then it also increases the heart rate so that more blood containing glucose and oxygen can be pumped to the muscles. You know that muscles are the ones that are, or that works to, uh, in order to fight or flight. Okay? So it also increases alertness. Okay? It dilates the pupil in eyes for increased alertness as you prepare for uh, the flight. So there are quite a number of uh, things that we can look at in terms of uh, its role in coordination. So the ones that I've given are some of them. Then explain the other role played by gland P apart from producing hormone. Now, which gland are we talking about? So the gland that we are talking about, that is Q, we said, is it the pancreas. Now, remember, we just looked at digestion. So in short, what is the role of pancreas in digestion? One, it produces what? So you can say it produces pancreatic, okay, it produces pancreatic what? Juice. What is the content of pancreatic juice? Pancreatic juice uh, consists of, uh, that is pancreatic amylase. The one that is used to break down uh, carbohydrate or starch into what? The one that is used to break down uh, starch into uh, maltose. Also, it contain uh, that is repase, the one that break down, uh, the one that complete the digestion of fats. And also we can talk of tripsin, the one that break down protein to 
uh, peptides. So those are the roles. Okay.